Okay, this might uh, sound like a deja vu to some of us here. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had done a video on this X111, and for a number of reasons, I got rid of it. But a conversation with a friend today inspired me to, to put this up uh, again. Uh, you know who you are. That's uh, Jeremy from New Heavens and New Earth Unveiled. If you haven't seen the station, check it out. But uh, when was X111 fulfilled? Uh, the subtitle here is Connecting the Dots Between X Chapter 1 and Revelation 10. So a little preface here, a quick reading of Acts 111 might cause a reader to assume that Jesus is speaking of his second coming, or maybe even a different event. However, we're going to take a look, a closer look at the passage. And here it is. It's basically Jesus's ascension to heaven. It says, now when he had spoken these things, while they watched, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel who also said, men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus who is taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. So just a little uh, observant uh, thing here. Acts 111 does not appear to be a prediction of the second coming. You know, the second coming is described in much for more uh, uh, vengeful and violent uh, descriptions, uh, such as uh, First Thessalonians, you have when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that appears that the two men, or we can assume them to be angels, in Acts chapter 1 are not predicting the second coming. So consider this as a possibility. This prediction that Jesus would come in like manner, as described by the two men, was fulfilled in Revelation chapter 10, when the mighty angel came down from heaven with a little book in his hand. So a couple of questions, you know, why might this be our conclusion? First of all, Jesus is coming in like manner, satisfies the prediction made in Acts chapter one, rather than a prediction of the second coming. Uh, note two, the little book in Revelation 10 answers the question that the disciples asked Jesus in Acts chapter one, verse six, that was a few verses before, they asked him the question, will you at this time restore the kingdom and we'll see how that kind of question gets answered here but let me just do a quick share here of our bible passages i got the ascension here on the left side it says so when they had come together they asked him lord will you at this time restore the kingdom to israel so again they had a specific question and then the angel go on to say uh you know this jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven and it says that he was taken in a cloud so if we jump over on the right-hand side here to Revelation chapter 10, it says, then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven wrapped in a cloud. And it gives more colorful language here than what we saw in Acts, but the same manner. It was in a peaceful manner. This was not in vengeance. And, uh, and it says he had a little scroll open in his hand, which we talked about this on our last video. And it just so happened that that scroll answers their question. Again, we're going to look at their question in verse six in Acts. It says, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel. And back in Acts chapter one, he said, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the father has fixed in his own authority. And then he goes on to talk about how they're going to receive the Holy Spirit, which clearly was fulfilled at Pentecost. But again, Pentecost didn't answer the question that they're asking him. And we also see that uh, that voice from heaven said there would be no more delay. Again, this is a timing question here in Revelation that's answered. That scroll has the answer. And as we talked about in our other video, after it says there'd be no more delay, we see that we have the two witnesses prophesying for three and a half years, 1,260 days or 42 months, all the same time period. So what's happening is that little book is telling them that there's delay no longer. It's just three and a half years, second half of Daniel's 70th week, which is when the end would occur. And also just to scroll down to the very end, uh, at the seventh trumpet in Revelation chapter 11, that's when the announcement is made that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever. Again, that's directly tied to the question and acts, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom? So that's it, kingdom fulfilled. I uh, hope that uh, kind of clarified or just uh, maybe gave you another way to, to look at that, how Acts 111 was fulfilled. And some closing thoughts. Again, Acts 111 appears to have been fulfilled in Revelation 10. It was not fulfillment of the second coming. Rather, it was Jesus telling John, and by extension, in telling John, he's also telling the first century church that the last half 
of the 70th week of Daniel was to begin. And a note here, there are so many other questions that this video did not venture to discuss, so many uh, questions that branch out from what's happening here. However, they have been discussed in other videos that we've done on this channel. Uh, you know, and we could talk about the identity of the two witnesses, who the author of Revelation is. Another bigger question is, was Jesus on the earth for three and a half years when that mighty angel came down? It never says he went back up. And when you look at the two witnesses in Revelation 11, it actually says that they were standing beside the God of the earth. So uh, again, that's a question I'm still trying to work out. And there's plenty of questions I'm still trying to work out here. But um, you know, that's just one that comes to mind. But the most relevant video, if you kind of like what we talked about here, you might be more curious as to watch the video, was there a gap in the middle of the 70th week of Daniel that gets into this uh, little book and, and other things like that a little more deeply. And also the most recent video, you know, the little book of Daniel in Revelation 10, connecting the dots between Daniel 12 and the book of Revelation, that's very uh, tied in with this. So it's just kind of God's perfect timing in that conversation I had with Jeremy today. And if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, I just found Revelation 10 and 11 to just be full of so many awesome questions. And again, I don't have it all figured out, but if you have any relevant questions or comments, things that came to your mind as you're watching this video, uh, let me know. But again, the main takeaway for today, Acts 111 appears to have been fulfilled in Revelation 10 with the mighty angel, Jesus, coming down from heaven. Again, any thoughts or questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all delivered to the saints, and God bless.